What's up, meat men? It's meat man. Today, I'm playing Ukrainian Ball in Search of Gas. One of the greatest games of our fucking century. Being Tetris in numbers of players. It is it is one of the greatest games of all time. Michael, what is your observation on this now that you're back in this lobby for the first time in a while? How do you feel about Ukrainian uh, Ukrainian Ball in Search of Gas? Uh... I'm I'm scared. Uh, I mean, I am too. I'm scared. I'm scared of the reaction this this is gonna get from the from the people that watch this video. I'm you know I could get ass. I could get canceled for this. Michael, I don't know. You can't see the counter on my screen, but I am up to three gases right now. You know that. I am a Ukrainian ball with three gases. How does it make you feel? How how does is this an interview or is this gameplay? I don't know. This is what's this Ukrainian about the ball. It's it's just a color like, yellow and blue that's on it, I guess. Is I, this the Ukrainian man's ball sack color, like or like it, it, testicle you know color? It, that that is that actually is what makes this game so crazy for its age and time, is the fact that this in fact is the Ukrainian ball sack. Dude, we need to find some fucking gas right now, or we are going to lose this game. This is very important to me. I know this might seem like a joke, but this. This is this is the most important game of my entire life. I have devoted the last 14 years of my life to Ukrainian ball in search of gas. Michael, how long have you devoted your life to this game? Uh, at least a gallon and a half, maybe two <laughs> gallons. But I'm working on it. Hopefully, get some more gallons in there. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I I am worried about the the way that the media reacts to something like this. But it's something you have to. I mean, you have to. Is that gas? That that's gas right there. Meat man. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh, did you, did you fucking see how close that was? That was a very, very close one. We're going in. Oh my gosh. We are. We are up right now. At at this moment, we are up to four. Count four, as it says on the top of the screen. I, I'm. I don't know what that means, but I am a Ukrainian ball with four count gas. Just so you guys know. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are really following the lore of this game. But it does have to do a lot with democracy versus communism, and the decline of this world, and all this very—it's very deep stuff, you know. What do you think about that, Michael? About how important it is to this world, this game right here. I think it's really important that we show the true culture of the U Ukrainian society. This—I mean, if if you, if and, you were to move to Ukraine, this is this is probably what your job's gonna end up being. You're but I also have a huge issue with this game to this point because I don't think it's accurately representing the Ukrainian culture. And I don't see enough Ukrainian men who have more hair than 16 gorillas combined driving around white BMWs. White BMW, yeah. You know, I, I haven't seen a white BMW yet, and there isn't a lot of hair in this game. But, Michael, think about this. I think that this game... I think that the white of this egg represents the white BMW and the the amount of trees, the tree coverage in this game, that represents the amount of hair on the average Ukrainian man. Have you thought about that? Yeah, it, it's it's definitely doing a really good job of representing the bush. What? I just I was sorry. Okay. I just Ooh, ooh, no! Not no! Again. <laughs> no! Well, meat man. Well, that was Ukrainian Ukrainian ball in search of gas. I got to four. I mean, I doubt you guys can do better than that. That was that was some of the fucking fucking exciting gameplay. Michael, what yeah, did this you game think of that gameplay? Next level. This game is next level, bro. This we just fucking died like Ukraine did, man. Cause no one gives a fuck. 